This is not gonna do anything. I don't know. I just, I've learned to say never ever, you know, because you, you just never know. So um, I just said never again. Hello, my lovelies, and welcome back to my channel. So today I have my boxy charm to share with you guys. My last ever boxy charm. So if you guys are interested to see what I got in the box as well as why I'm canceling my boxy charm, then just keep on watching. But before we begin, let me remind you that subscribing is 100% free, so please click that subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and click that notification bell so that you're notified every time that I post. I post every single week and sometimes even multiple times a week, so trust me, you don't want to miss out. Alrighty, without further ado, let's jump straight into the box. So the theme for this month is Gift of Glam. Each month, in case you didn't know, there's like a little theme that they go by. And uh, let's see, um, the first item. We will go with this guy right here. And it is by Mud Masky. This is their mineral infused double cleansing mask and it retails for $59, which is pretty darn expensive. I literally just got my box yesterday and I was able to try this out last night. And I mean, it's too soon to tell what it can do. I don't really, it doesn't really have a smell or anything, but it kind of just felt like I was rubbing lotion onto my skin. It says uh, to rub it in and then go and brush your teeth or something. I read that somewhere, hold on. Oh yes, it says to remove makeup and then wash your face and then apply a small amount on your face and rub it in. And um, it's supposed to melt into your skin. Leave the cleansing mask on your face, brush your teeth and then, <laughs> When you're done brushing your teeth, you rinse it off. So I think they're trying to like make sure you people brush their teeth before they go to sleep or something. I don't know, but this is to be used before bedtime. And um, yeah, that's literally in the instructions. <laughs> so I did exactly that. And I mean, it did feel pretty clean, my skin. So uh, yeah, but it does make claims of um, detoxifying and deep cleansing your face and it's supposed to restore your skin's pH levels, reduce redness, and prevent acne. So we will see. I will be using this, especially since I've been wearing my mask. Oh my gosh, I get really bad mask knee, which I hate. I can't stand it. So hopefully this will help with that. We did get this brand, I think, the, like two boxes ago, and it was like an eye cream of theirs, and I was not impressed with that. So we will see. We'll see about this. Again, I'll always update you guys either on Instagram or in the description box down below, so make sure to check those out. Next up, we have this Algenist Triple Algae Eye Renewal Balm, and it retails for $68. This is supposed to reduce dark under eye circles, bags, puffiness, lines, wrinkles, and crow's feet in just 10 days. All right, I, I could definitely use help with that, so I uh, can't wait to see if this works or not. This uses algoronic acid and a blend of red, brown, and green algae, and they're supposed to energize the skin and increase luminosity. So that is what it claims. I did use it last night and then again before applying my makeup today, and it does feel really nice under uh, my eyes. It feels very cooling, and I like that. And I will do anything to moisturize under my eyes because that's where aging occurs very rapidly. So um, uh, I will, of course, again, let you guys know, but so far so good, especially for $68. I mean, this better do something, you know? So I will keep you guys posted on that. Next up, we have this Satin Powder Highlights by Sophia and Mabel. <sighs> okay, so this retails for $22 and mine came in the mail completely demolished. I didn't know it was completely broken, so I had opened this and literally the highlight went everywhere, everywhere, like all over. It's all over like inside of this, thankfully, mainly. You can see that, look, all the highlight. <laughs> Recently, I've noticed like the past couple of boxes at least for sure, um, BoxyCharm used to like pad their boxes with this kind of foam, you know, to keep everything safe. And recently, they've been using this. I th this is just paper. I don't know what this is gonna do for that. But, you know, I didn't see that as a problem because it never like affected any of my items. My items were never broken or anything until now. And I'm so, ugh, like, 
sad because it's my last box and I didn't want anything like this to happen. The highlight did come in a cardboard box, which was in this little bubble wrap. But I mean, this is not going to do anything. I don't I tried to press it in as best as I could, but it's still crumbling. Even when I was using it, like as soon as the brush touched it, it was literally just falling apart. <sighs> so um, that was a big bummer. And I really hope that BoxyCharm, especially since they raised their prices, I'm hoping, I mean, you would think that they would take a little bit extra care for their products. I don't know. I don't know what's happening there. But as you can see, I'm just, I'm very irritated when my products are broken. Oh, it's just like, it's really sad. Anyways, um, this is supposed to be a face highlight. It's in the shade Peach Sangria, but it is a, a little bit too dark for my skin tone, but it is a very beautiful color nonetheless. Um, I do have it swatched here. And they actually describe it as a shimmer copper with gold and light peach undertones, which perfectly describes the shade. And I do really like the formula, it's very smooth. Um, I used it on my eyes as eyeshadow, and this is the only shade on my eyes, I mean, other than my inner corner and brow bone highlight. But um, yeah, on my eyelid itself, it's literally just this highlight, and I really like how it looks, very, very pretty. And I used it as a blush topper. So uh, if you see that little bit of glow, it is this. So I did really like it, it is very pretty, but I'm so bummed that it is broken. So next up, we have this Seraphine Botanicals Luna Liner. The, oh, it is water resistant. It's a water resistant liquid eyeliner and it retails for $18. That's pretty cool. Um, I've never had a water resistant eyeliner before, I don't think. So uh, that's very nice. I love getting a fresh eyeliner pen. Oh my gosh, it is the best especially because like the tip of every eyeliner, like it just dries out so quick. And I hate when that happens because it makes making a wing so difficult. But um, yes, uh, I really did like this. And I do have that swatched right here. And it was very easy to use, like perfect to create my wing. I love this. So this, this did not let me down. I'm really glad we got this in this month's box. And finally, we have the Ultra Volume Tubing Mascara by Blink. This, I think, was part of the like boxy choice. BoxyCharm has started to let us choose like out of several selected items, like what you want in your box for the next month. And so I did choose the Tubing Mascara. So that's really cool. It's supposed to, uh, like when you wash it off, it's supposed to come off in tubes rather than like flake off everywhere. So I'm very interested to see if, uh, you know, if that's true and how, how good I like it. I remember I had a tubing mascara like a long time ago and I was just so weirded out of it coming out in tubes that I did not use it. So <laughs> I just wanted to give the tubing mascara another shot. So yes, but I did really like it. It does volumize your eyelashes and give it some really nice length. I really love volumizing mascaras, but because it's volumizing, just be careful because your lashes can get clumpy pretty quickly. But uh, yeah, so far, so good. Okay, let me do the math real quick. So the total for this month's box is $193, which is crazy. And I'm kind of bummed at having to cancel BoxyCharm, but I have stated this before in my previous boxes. Uh, the reason why I'm canceling BoxyCharm is because I have way too much makeup, way too much, too much makeup. And at one point I had way too much skincare to where like it was all going to expire. So I had to like give a lot of it away. I do still love BoxyCharm. If I'm going to be honest, I I do, I love getting new products every month and getting to test them out. And I mean, you do get uh, like a really good bang for your buck, but maybe it won't be the last, maybe in a couple of years, maybe even a couple of months, I don't know. But for now, I'm, I'm just kind of overwhelmed with how much makeup I have. Uh, if you've seen my makeup declutter, I mean, I had so much makeup that I gave away and threw away and I still have so much left over. So at like at a certain point, it's just like, it's too much, which I never thought I would ever say ever, but yeah, there's like literally no more room. I'm kind of bummed that this happened, but I'm also, you know, maybe it's like a sign, like, yes, it's time for you to cancel BoxyCharm. 
Um, I do have a code if you want guys want to use it. I don't even know again like what you get out of it. I never like look into those kind of things. I I really should, but I mean it's there if you want to use it. I had actually planned on canceling Boxy Charm the previous year, but I had forgotten to cancel it, and it had like it automatically renews for like the whole next year. So I was like. <laughs> <laughs> so I kept it on for one more year and I was like, I'm just gonna give it one last shot. These boxy, I think they're called boxy ch or charms or I think, yeah, I think they're called charms. I don't even know, but you can redeem them and get like products. You still have to pay like shipping and tax and stuff like that. But I think the products itself is free, but the charm room is always closed at least every time I check it. So I don't, I don't even know. So, uh, yeah, that was another thing that was kind of irritating about it. And I also remember them increasing the price, which was kind of like, ugh, you know. <sighs> I mean, it's a business. You got to do what you got to do. But that was also, you know, especially when they raised the price from like $21 to $25, I think, per box. Um, I mean, you still get, you know, like I said, a bang for your buck for sure. Hands down. I mean, this was almost $200 worth of product. Um, but still, I mean... Like the packaging, like could you put a little bit more bubble wrap or something? I don't know if it's BoxyCharm's fault. I don't know if it's, I know there's like a lot of shipping problems happening because of, you know, the times we are in right now, but I, I just don't know. So uh, yeah, but the main reason is because there was too much makeup. If I had the storage, um, I would probably, you know, keep BoxyCharm on, but uh, I don't know. And I feel like in the long run, it did kind of save me money because back in the day when I would shop at Sephora and Ulta, I would very easily <laughs> rack up a lot of money, you know, a lot of products and just spend a lot of money. Versus when I had BoxyCharm, I didn't feel the need to go shopping for makeup at all because I just, I was almost like overwhelmed, like I said, with the amount of makeup that I have. So I literally have not shopped for makeup at least like specifically for at least like one two years i think for sure for sure like last year and the year before i didn't buy any makeup uh, unless of course it's like a, a necessity that i ran out of but usually box charms pretty good at sending like mascaras and eyeliners every so often so i never really had to had to buy any so we'll see i'll see how it goes i mean if like it ends up being more for me to be off of boxy charm then i might get boxy charm again I don't want to say like I'll never ever get boxy charm, even though I think at the beginning of the video I did say that, but <laughs> I just I've learned to say never ever, you know, because you you just never know. So uh, I just said never again. Alrighty, you guys. So that was it for my boxy charm unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed. I did actually really like all of the products. The only bummer was that this was broken. I mean, it's shipping. Can't really control shipping. I mean, I don't know about this. I'm pretty sure you can control this, but I don't know. I digress. Anyways, let me know what you guys got in your box this month. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Let me know down below. Other than that, please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!